guys, today I'm here to chat all about my favorite bronzers and contours for tan, medium, deep skin. I've got kind of this in-between skin tone where I have a lot of trouble finding products to match me because I'm more deep than what someone would consider kind of tanned, but I'm definitely not all the way up into the deep category, hence me mixing and matching a lot of foundations and products. Um, I did a video like this last year, I think. I will link to that down below because all of those recommendations still totally stand. I'm not including them at all in this video, even though I wanted to because a lot of them are still amazing. Um, but these are some that I have come across since that video, so I thought I would uh, update you. So let's get started. Up first, let's chat about something that I talk about every day and you are sick of hearing about it. But I want to bring this up because this is something that I did not think was going to match me. I lusted after it, I looked at it, I swatched it, I watched videos about it. But for the most part, everybody that used it was quite a bit lighter than me, if not very fair and pink toned. So I was like, that's not going to work for me. But this is amazing. I've hit pan on it. I mentioned it in a product I have hit pan on and has made it in several favorites videos. I love these two lighter shades for under my eye. That being said, I do like quite a light under eye, but I don't find it looks too stark or anything like that. I'm wearing it today. This peach shade is great too. Um, I don't get a whole lot of use out of this shade, but I love mixing these two together. So I'm wearing it today for my contour. I think it's great. It is super creamy, super pigmented. And I just wanted to mention it because you may see other people using it and be like, that's not gonna work for me. Um, but I do think that this is incredibly versatile and to give it a try. Some new discoveries to me are from the Body Shop. I've got a full review on these. Um, I've got the Body Shop Shade Adjusting Drops in Darkening. These I love more so for contouring than I do darkening a foundation. But that being said, if you do have kind of an in-between skin tone like myself and you do have trouble finding that perfect shade, like I always see foundation ranges and I'm like okay this one's kind of tan and then this one's completely deep I'm like where is the shade in the middle this will help you get there um, it definitely helps to darken your foundation but it does make it more cool tone that's why I like these uh, these drops a little bit more they're the honey bronze drops of sun holiday glow no glitter in here no shimmer just like straight up warmth and I use them today with my L'Oreal Pro Matte foundation to mix in um, and I really really like these they'll help get you an, a little bit of warmth to your foundation but I like the idea of using Using these on a damp beauty blender putting it around the perimeter of your face just to bronze up a little bit and you'll see in my um, review and demo of these I actually use these darkening drops as a contour and like I said because they are cool toned um, it really does add a nice uh, contour to your face and they're extremely blendable because I generally don't work with cream products um, but I really like these ones these are quite new to me they are the Nikki Garrett contour kits I mentioned these in a Canadian beauty video recently um, this one is in the shade medium which I use and then there is also a dark which is just above it I believe it's dark and then I think they were coming out with a shade that's even darker than this which is awesome um, They've also got lighter shades as well, but I think that these are a great option, um, not only because you get a highlight in here too, but the contour shades are great. They're just cool toned enough, but not like super gray, so they're gonna look ashy on your skin or anything like that. I love that they have a wide shade range. And they're just great sleep packaging, good for travel because they can double as eyeshadows. And it's kind of an unknown brand, so I thought I would bring them up. One of my favorite bronzers, something else I discovered this year, is the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze. This, I wasn't sure if it was going to match me. Um, I didn't know if it was going to be dark enough for some reason. I thought it looked too light. Um, this is in the shade 30M, which is Sienna, I believe. And I think there might be one shade above. This product, however, is extremely, extremely densely packed in here, and I need to use a more dense angled brush. I've got one from Sephora that I love to use with this, but this is a true bronzer for me. I'll use it on my forehead, a little bit on my cheeks, jaw, down my neck, and I just think it looks like so good. It is truly a bronzer for someone of my skin tone. It's very creamy, great pigmentation, super blendable. I mean, Makeup Forever knows what they're up to, um, but I just think that this is a fabulous bronzer. Also, the packaging is great, um, which helps, but I really, really love this. From Too Faced, the ever so delicious uh, Chocolate Soleil bronzer. They sent this to me recently and I was like, oh, I don't think this is gonna work for me um, because they have a dark chocolate, which is darker than this one, um, but this actually works. Um, again it's like similar to the Makeup Forever one in that it's definitely more of a bronzer than a contour for me and it's like just dark enough so when I get a little bit deeper I don't think this is gonna work for me but I'm kind of in my like winter skin tone right now um, and this is perfect it's got just enough depth that it adds a little bit of warmth and dimension to your face you can contour your nose with this I think if you are my skin tone for reference I'm about an NC 42 in Mac um, but this really really surprised me and the texture of course Too Faced is amazing I love their 
um, cocoa powder foundation so I'm glad that I finally got to try the bronzer um, because for some reason I just never thought that this shade would work for me but it's great from Smashbox this is another product that I didn't think would work for me seriously go into Sephora swatch try things on um, because I always think that things are gonna be too light or too dark and you don't really realize till you actually get it on your face what it's gonna look like which makes sense um, but these are the uh, cream stick contours um, there's a highlight one as well it comes in like a trio but you get like a bronze one and then you also get a contour shade I got these at Gen Beauty in my like, creator swag bag and I really really like these especially the contour it's like cool toned enough that it's not gonna look ashy and weird on your skin tone super blendable just put it on after you put on your foundation a little bit along the forehead the nose jaw I love the uh, kind of stick format because it makes it really easy the bronzer one is not one that I use a lot because I would just rather go for the contour one, um, but this would be great for warming up the skin tone as well. I just have really, really oily skin, so in general, I don't reach for a lot of creams, but these are really nice. Lastly, I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal. The shade range on this is gigantic. I think there's like 20 or 25 shades in there. They also have some correctors, so they've got the lightest of light up to really, really deep. This one is in the shade Espresso. Again, it can be used as a cream contour, super cheap, like $5. A, a concealer for me could be a contour for someone who has really really light skin so it's it's nice to kind of go for a concealer because you can find a cheaper option it's not necessarily marketed as a contour product you'll see this on Instagram all the time um, and again super blendable doesn't dry as soon as you swipe it on your face and it's also got kind of like a brush tip again making it really easy to get in there and do a precise contour so you don't end up looking like super super muddy and uh, like over contoured on your face. So that is everything that I've come across since my last bronzers and contour video. Let me know down below if you've got any suggestions and if you would like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJNYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>